Hello, Montgomery Elementary. This is Mrs. Schmidt. I came today to read you a book. I hope everyone's doing well and getting outside when you can and doing lots of reading. I want to read you a book that I wrote a couple years ago and I hope you'll enjoy it. The name of my book is Don't Cry Gertrude. Sorry about that. Why are you crying, Gertrude? asked her mom. Because I miss my animals and I miss my daddy, cried Gertrude. I know, said mom sadly. I do too, honey. But we can buy new stuffed animals and daddy will be home by Christmas. Don't cry, Gertrude. The scrapyard at night was a very scary place to be. There were big hungry dogs and roaming all around the grounds that were ferocious cats slinking in and out of the cars. The moon shining at night made the shadows from the abandoned cars look like huge monsters. Why didn't Gertrude take us with us with her after the big crash when she left the car? asked Brown Bear. Duck said because the men put her on a bed and put her in a big white truck with her mom. She was hurt. I heard her mom say they were going to the hospital, but she would be okay. Then those men put this car in a truck and dropped it here. I hope Gertrude can find us, said Duck. I don't like it here at all. The four friends huddled close together in fear. They had been here for a long time, and the nights were the most frightening time. I want Gertrude, cried Duck. Me too, moaned Koala. Octopus put her arms around the group and tried to act brave. Would we ever get back home, growled Brown Bear. It will be morning soon, sighed Octopus. Let's just get some sleep. Mr. Pine bigs bil builds big steel buildings. This new building was going to be a toy store, but first he had to clean up the scrapyard to make room for it. As he was moving pieces of scrap around and telling his men where to start, he tripped over something. He bent down to pick up what looked like a stuffed animal. Hmm, he said. I wonder what this is. It looks like a duck. Now what are you doing here? He tossed it into the back of his truck and continued his work. Later that night, when Mr. Pine was cleaning out his truck, he came upon the dirty black duck. I almost forgot about you, he said. You need a bath. Mr. Pine filled his kitchen sink with water and some soap and tossed in the duck. He scrubbed it until the furry stuffed animal was beautiful yellow duck again. Well, would you look at that, exclaimed Mr. Pine. You clean up pretty well, Mr. Duck. My niece Katie will love to play with you when she comes to visit. Mr. Pine placed the duck on a shelf in his living room. Duck thought it felt so good to be clean again. Bear and octopus must be so scared, he, he thought. I wish I could let them know I'm okay. Duck looked all around. This is nice, but I miss my friends. Brown Bear, Koala, and Octopus were huddled together. They were so scared and tired. They had no idea what happened to their friend Duck. Duck is okay, asked Koala. Will he ever come back, asked Brown Bear. I don't know, said Octopus. I hope so. Let's go back to sleep. The three friends settled in for another long, scary night in the scrapyard. A dog howled and the cats meowed. Here we go again, cleaning up the scrapyard, said Mr. Pine. He was in the bulldozer about to move a wrecked car when he looked down and saw a shiny object. He climbed down from his bulldozer and reached down to pick up a stuffed animal. It had a shiny metal tag on the collar. Well, I'll be. It's a bear. And look, there's another one. What is this? It's an octopus. Now, what are you all doing here? Come to think of it, this is where I found that duck, too. Hmm, that's odd. I wonder why all these animals were together in this wrecked car. They must belong to someone, he thought. I bet you were all forgotten in this car after the accident. I must find out where you came from. Mr. Pine put the two bears and the octopus into his truck. Come on guys, let's go get a bath. Now that's better. You all look fantastic, exclaimed Mr. Pine. Brown Bear, Koala, and Octopus were now back to their original glorious selves. Mr. Pine picked up Brown Bear and the tag it had around its neck could now be read. It said, 
to my Gertrude to keep you safe until I return. I wonder who Gertrude is. Now I really must find her. The four friends, two bears, an octopus, and a duck, were so happy to see each other again. They hugged and laughed. It feels so good to be clean again, said Octopus. I loved my bath. I'm so glad we are all together, cried Koala Bear. I only wish we were back with Gertrude, sighed Brown Bear. Everyone agreed. Mr. Pine went back to the scrapyard the next day to where he had found the stuffed animals. Here we go, he said. This car number will give me all the information I need to find the owner. He, his friend found out the address for him of Mr. and Mrs. John Jones. With a few more phone calls, he had the addresses for the Jones. Mr. Pine went home, gathered together the stuffed animals, put them in his truck, and set out to find their owner. A short time later, he pulled up to the Jones house. Mr. Pine picked up the nice clean toys and walked up to the door and knocked. A little girl about eight years old opened the door. Hi, said Mr. Pine. I found these stuffed animals in a wrecked car while I was working in the scrapyard. Are you, are you Gertrude? Do these belong to you? Gertrude began to jump up and down. She started to laugh and called, Mama, Mama, come quick, they're home, they're home. Mr. Pine handed the four animals to Gertrude and she hugged them tight. She began to cry. Her mother came running. Gertrude, her mother exclaimed, why are you crying? Because I'm so happy, said Gertrude. Daddy's gifts are back with me and I never thought I would see them again. Mr. Pine introduced himself to Mrs. Jones and she told him the story of how Gertrude's dad, now serving in the military, had given her the four stuffed animals just before he left for Afghanistan. Gertrude had been heartbroken when he could not be found after the car accident. They were her special connection to her dad. Just then, a car pulled into the driveway. From the back seat, a tall man dressed in camouflage emerged. Gertrude screamed and ran down the driveway. Daddy, Daddy! Gertrude's dad picked her up and swung her around. Together, they ran up the driveway to greet Mrs. Jones. The two bears, the octopus, the duck, and the Jones family all hugged. A tear ran down Gertrude's face. Don't cry, Gertrude, said Dad. We're all together forever. And that's my story. And just like Gertrude and her family, our family will all be together again too. So I want you to write your own stories, read them to your friends online, draw pictures to go with them, and keep reading. And we'll see you all soon. Bye.